Hey guys, it's Ashlyn. So in today's video, I'm going to be kind of throwing it back to like the current favorites, like the monthly favorites videos. I just love seeing these because I feel like I could always get a lot of ideas of just like different things I didn't know I needed. All of these things in this video are things that I've been loving recently. They're just in like my day-to-day -day life and just, you know, my current favorites. So I have my big, huge MacBook, which I guess you could say is one of my current favorites, but I wrote down, it looks like 11 different things that are literally just so random, but things I've been loving. So in no particular order, here are my current favorites. Number one is actually a drink that I have come up with. This drink is water, cranberry juice, and lemon juice, and then stevia. So basically, whenever I'm just at home, I always have one of these just to have in my room or wherever I am in the house to always just be drinking out of. And then when I'm at school, I have a water bottle, and I always make this. Okay, so say you're making it in this cup, you get some ice, you fill your water up to here, you add like a squeeze of lemon juice, and then you fill like the rest with cranberry juice. And then if you don't add the stevia, you can taste like the bitterness of the cranberry juice because you have to get like the 100% like pure cranberry juice or it's not really giving you the benefits. I just add like one packet of stevia and then you have yourself a really hydrating, good for you drink and it's not just plain water. That was very random, but I felt like I needed to share that with you. My next favorite thing that I've been loving recently is reading. And so that leads me to my next current favorite, which is, that would be my family group chat on Snapchat. <laughs> but my next current favorite is books and specifically Colleen Hoover books. In the past, like, two to three weeks I've read It Ends With Us and Ugly Love. Cannot express to you how good those books were. It's definitely got me back into reading because I forgot how much I actually do enjoy reading. Like over the course of all of high school, like I've just not read unless it was an assigned book for school and even that I never really read because I was just not interested. I didn't put any effort into that. So now that my like English class is just a grammar and comp class and it's like a lot of writing and the only reading assigned is like a book for my senior project that I get to pick out. Because of that, I haven't had a book assigned to me. And so I saw on TikTok, it ends with us. And then I was like, I gotta read this. And I loved it and I ordered another Colleen Hoover book and finished it in like uh, maybe like a week, but that's when I was taking a lot of breaks. And then yesterday, was a snow day and today is too. But yesterday was a snow day and I literally read half the book in that day and I just couldn't stop reading it. So I definitely recommend Colleen Hoover books. Current favorite number three is this candle right here. It is so good and I'm not even a candle person. I definitely usually stick to my Scentsy. I definitely usually stick to my Scentsy because the wax melts for them are way cheaper and I just never get like Bath and Body Works or White Barn candles, but my mom got some on sale, I think, and this one happened to be my favorite out of all of them. I don't know if it's meant to be like a fall candle or like what, but it doesn't give me fall vibes, which I like because it's not fall. It's just so good. The only time I light this candle is when I'm reading in bed at night and it just gives me great vibes. It, there's literally a turkey on it. Like it's definitely for fall. I think that's why I was on sale. So if you buy a Colleen Hoover book and light this candle, you'll be in the same vibe level as me. My hands are so much more pale than my face. Don't mind that. And I keep using my hands to talk. That's very embarrassing. <laughs> Current favorite number four is a chai tea latte with salted cream cold foam. This was a very new favorite because I used to not like chai. Like I was like, no coffee all the way but i wanted to try something different because starbucks coffee is not really my favorite like i feel like it's just not that good every time but i still get it i think we're all guilty of it but i got the chai tea latte with the salted cream cold foam that was probably one of the best drinks i have had in a long time and then i went to costco that night with my mom and i saw that they had like the chai concentrate from Tazo, if that's how you pronounce it. There's only a three pack for like $8. So got that. Um, you mix equal parts with almond milk and then add ice. And then I make the salted cream cold foam and I've nailed this recipe, all right? I've nailed it. It's never, I feel like, been like Starbucks because Starbucks has just such good cold foam, but I nailed it. Especially when outside is literally looking like a blizzard right now and I can't go get coffee or this chai tea latte that I've recently fallen in love with. Now I can make it at home. Current favorite number five is gonna sound like an ad, but I swear to you it's not. I've never reached out to Depop. They've never reached out to me. You've seen probably so many sponsorships of Depop, but I swear this one is not. It's just one of my current favorites and it's not even just because of like Depop. It's literally <laughs> the packing orders side of Depop because I love selling things and then packing the orders because I know it's going to go out to someone that's just going to get more use out of it and I just love packaging 
I love writing my little handwritten note. I just love it. Like, I just love that whole routine. I might as well promote my Depop since I'm talking about it. It's just Ashlyn Duvall. I have a lot of things for sale right now, and I'm actually about to add some more things because I have college coming up, and so I'm like, I can't take all of my clothes, and then the clothes that are just gonna be here will i even want to ever wear again don't get me wrong these clothes are still very cute i mean i've had them for a reason but i just don't wear them as much or they're just not really in my style anymore so feel free to shop my depop okay my next one favorite sunday nights some of you guys might know just by me saying sunday nights but sunday nights Okay, Sundays in general, I love Sundays. I just love everything about them. And they've recently become so much better because of Euphoria. I feel like, okay, some people aren't really into Euphoria and some people are so into Euphoria and we can talk about our theories together. And I love talking about the theories, especially after season two, episode four. Are you kidding me? Like what? What even happened in that? Because so much happened. Everything that could have happened, happened in episode four. And I just don't know what to think. And all I've been thinking about this week is Sunday night because I just want to know what happens next, especially after the preview. I'm like, what is happening? I need to know. If you watch Euphoria, either give me your theories down below or just you can talk about it with me because I just need more people to talk about it with. Oh my gosh, this goes alongside with this current favorite, but it is going through Twitter after I watched the episode and just seeing everyone's theories and seeing everyone's reactions of the show. It's literally my favorite thing ever. And if you guys do the same thing, let me know because me and Paige, we, we get at it with our theories. I, I, I look forward to that every week. Current favorite number, I think six. I don't really know, I'm kind of losing track. Current favorite number seven would have to go to the Costco Parmesan bagels with cream cheese and everything bagel seasoning. Everything but the big, everything big. I don't. I don't know which one it is. I feel like people go back and forth with what it's called. I'm just like a sucker for good bread. Like, just like bagels, bread, sourdough bread, like everything that is just like really not good for you, but it, I, I just love it. My next favorite is actually a song, and I'll play it for you guys because it's so good. I found out about the song from Lexi Hidalgo, if that's how you pronounce her last name, and she literally just like made a video and she was like her caption was like this song something about how the song is so good and i just didn't really think anything of it and then it just like popped in my head that she made that video and so i searched for it and found it on soundcloud and it only is on soundcloud the two songs that are in it that it's like remixed with are on spotify but not like the remix itself which is so sad and i only listen to stuff on spotify so if i ever want to listen to the song I have to go to SoundCloud, which is a little inconvenient, but hey, it's a good song. And if I don't feel like going to SoundCloud, I'll just listen to the separate songs on Spotify. Not a big deal. It's the J. Cole White Tiger remix of Can't Get Enough, but I think you have to search this or else it like won't come up. So that's a song. It's very good. But the two songs, if you want to go on Spotify and find the two songs just like separately, it's this song, White Tiger, but like the remix one. I think it's the second one that should pop up. And this one. The next thing on my favorites is the Maybelline Fit Me foundation like stick i don't remember off the top of my head what shade it is but i did like a little demo so i'll show you that and i used it today basically it just gives like a great contour i also add bronzer over it but something about just like putting a cream contour down first and like not setting it there but setting it with like a bronzer and then adding like blush it just like does it for me like i don't I don't know how to explain it it's like not that necessary but it just makes your skin like look like it's more melted you know okay the next thing i put on my current favorites um <laughs> is literally just bobby pins in general because as you can tell i have these things these things i cut myself and there's more in here you just can't see it also i did sleep in these braids so they're not the cutest things ever but there's definitely more back there and they're finally growing but just like you know not as fast as i would like them to so when i have to do like my ponytails for dance i have to add like two bobby pins on each side because it just like doesn't quite reach i think it's getting to the point where it reaches but like once it you know 
like gets a little bit loose they, they come out so bobby pins is a current favorite and the last thing is the loving tan self tanner and in these winter months i i am a kind of redhead so i'm not like naturally tan as you can tell from my hands that are not tanned a self tanner is a necessity for me in the winter months i've realized i used to use different types but i think my favorite recently has been the loving tan one and it's a very popular one so it's probably not a shocker to you guys but i would always use like a lotion one that like developed and this one it's pretty dark when you put it on so then you have to like wash it off in the morning or a few hours later and so i just use it on my whole body and i think it just looks really natural and people have told me i look really tan but like not in a bad way so i think it's working <laughs> i put this on like a, a couple days ago and it just lasts longer than the lotions I don't know how to like even show it but it just gives you a nice natural tan like you look tan but it doesn't look orange or green it just looks nice i use the shade dark anyway that is my very random current favorites video i thought i would do this just to you know step away from like a vlog a snow day vlog i've literally done that type of video for the past two videos so i'm like i want to do kind of like a sit down video even though i'm not sitting down and just kind of like give you some current favorites throw it back a little bit if you guys like this type of video let me know so that's that love you guys so much don't forget to comment like, subscribe check out my vlog channel even though i haven't posted on there in a long time um maybe during the summer i'll revive it and i'll see you guys in my next video bye